On the evening of June 5, 1944, elements of the 101st Airborne Division prepared for the Great Invasion, D-Day, the storming of Fortress Europe and what would be the first stop towards liberation of Europe and the defeat of Hitler's Third Reich. It was what would be forever known as the longest day. The men of the 101st Airborne Division left from ports and airfields in England, places like Welford, Newport, Membry, Aldermaston, Greenham Commons, Merrifield, and Pottery, Exeter, Newbury, and the Pathfinders left from North Witham. They loaded on C-47s, gliders, and ships. It was men like medics Kenneth Moore and Robert Wright who fought and died, bled and cried through the small towns, villages, and the thick Norman hedgerows. Here we are, more than 60 years later. Many of the men who fought here are not with us today, but we are here today to dedicate this stained glass window so that their memory will not perish and their deeds will live on forever.